Najib Ulazazi, who was arrested in Colorado last fall, has pleaded guilty to plotting to attack the New York City subway system. This was one of the most serious terrorist threats to our nation since September the 11th, 2001. And were it not for the combined efforts of the law enforcement and intelligence communities, it could have been devastating. Zazi appeared in federal court in New York Monday and told the judge he went to Pakistan in 2008 to join the Taliban and fight against the U.S. military, but was recruited by al-Qaeda in Pakistan for what he called a martyrdom operation against the United States. He said the terrorism plot was aimed at the city subway system, but wouldn't name a specific target when asked by the judge. People wrote that there wasn't a plot. Turns out there was a very serious plot against this city, that the New York Police Department and the FBI together stopped a plot that would have really hurt this city. Austin Long, a terrorism expert at Columbia University, praised the government for its handling of the case. Clearly they did their homework in terms of evidence collection, in terms of interrogation, and they were able to build a convincing enough case that his attorneys and, and Zazie himself decided that the, the best course was to plead guilty. So I think it's a success. Zazie admitted building homemade explosives with beauty supplies he bought and mixed in Colorado before driving across the country to New York City just before the 8th anniversary of the September 11th attacks. He also told authorities he disposed of the explosives once he arrived in New York. Zazi will be sentenced in June and faces the possibility of life in prison without parole. Ross Simpson, The Associated Press.